we've got a different kind of celebration of life heading into this Father's Day weekend. Last spring, we shared the incredible courage of Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly. He took on his toughest opponent, oral cancer, for a second time. And his chances did not look good at that time. But Jeff went to see the Kellys outside Buffalo and found strength that spans generations. Jeff, hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, hello again. After months of intense radiation and chemotherapy, doctors told Jim Kelly there was no evidence of cancer last September. He just had another check reconfirming that. But he is still getting back to a life that's been changed forever. How is this Father's Day different for you? I feel a lot better than I did last year. Jim Kelly didn't think he'd make this Father's Day. Not during the worst of it. When he was so sick, he couldn't even eat. When they were putting the feeding tube in, I thought, okay, this is not good. And then when they broke the news to me, I, I really broke down. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I cried that hard. Yes. Ever. Cry. Because I thought, okay, this is the end. It was not. Today, more than a year after Kelly's most serious battle with oral cancer began, doctors say there is no evidence of the disease in his jaw. His daughter, Erin, has written a book about the family's journey called Kelly Tough. She remembered one moment when she struggled with what to write in a card for her dad. The message, I love you more than a million footballs. I think I just didn't know how to express how much I loved my daddy, that that just seemed the, like the perfect thing because he was a quarterback, he loves football. And I remember just stopping and looking at this card and just not knowing what to say and what to do. And I just broke down crying because I, it hit me how much Father's Day and how much every day means to me. And so you wrote, I love you more than a million footballs. I did, and it reminded me of when I was little. Erin just finished her sophomore year of college. Sister Cameron, her sophomore year of high school. The family, including wife Jill, is all back together in Orchard Park, New York, no longer taking care of Jim around the clock in New York City. To see him struggle like this is very difficult. It has been the Kellys' second struggle with a terrible disease. Their son, Hunter, who had a rare neurological disorder called Crab A, died at the age of eight in 2005. Jill, you, you said to me last year that what happened with Hunter changed, changed this man. How much has what's happened in the last year changed him further? It's interesting, Aaron and I have both had this conversation. We don't remember the gym before cancer. And we look at pictures of him. I mean, obviously he's different in that sense, but he's just a different person. I'm more patient with people than I was in the past. I'm more forgiving to people now that I've been through a lot, and a lot of that comes from her. Come here, Bo. Jim told us he's tried to put everything in his life on fast forward. More family trips, especially. Hold it really tight against your shoulder. <laughs> Including hunting trips with Aaron. Your turkey call is great. Is Aaron? Are we getting her working on that, or <clears throat> she's doing the slate pretty good? She, I want she's getting used to it. She does a very good box call. She doesn't have. The <laughs> I can, and the thing is, you should have heard me before I had my prosthesis. It was a little better, but I can still call him in. Is Daddy still as tough as he was? I think he's tougher. Are you tougher? I think I am. There you go. I love knowing every single day when I wake up that he's healed and that he is cancer free. You know, we're in the kitchen doing push ups on the counter, and he's like, All right, Aaron, let's go. I got to get my strength back. It's You're doing push ups together. Yes. Come on, father daughter. It's a part of that father daughter bond. Training. Exactly. Training, getting him back to full health. Jim still has scans to check for cancer every three months. There is medication every day, but every moment he treasures because it's one he thought he might never have. I wish I could wake up every day and not have pain, but I've come to the conclusion that that will probably be my life, but I'm here. That's all counts. Wow. 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 Kelly I'm here Tuff and that's all that in counts. Boy, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful story to see the family together that way. Yeah. Visit with them always puts things in perspective. It really right? does. Great Father's Day. All right, Jeff, thanks.